let's start uh, from the commissions. How much should we charge? Okay. So the answer when you are a centralized platform, a web 2.0 platform, like the OTAs we use today, you're trying to maximize uh, the commissions you, you charge because uh, the end game is the profit, uh, as it should be. Your responsibility is towards the shareholders. It is not towards the hosts and guests. Uh, that's one of the weaknesses in the long term of these platforms. Um, so you charge 15% or you charge 18% and if you can, you charge more. And then if you find a way to have some of your um, hosts or property managers pay more through some kind of like uh, get more bookings, pay more commission scheme, you do this. You, you optimize for extraction of value. That's what every company does. There's no... Uh, ethical uh, judgment here. That's what every company is supposed to do. And on the other hand, you, you try to minimize your costs, right? So we are Web 3.0. We work differently. The, the idea here is not to make money as a company. The idea is to create value as a platform and then share this value with every player in the platform. And we're going to get to this to this later and the concept here is tokenization. So we decided to go with a 5% commission. This is just tentative. Um, we could try to go to four if we can, or we're gonna have to go to six or eight if we can't. The thing is, we're gonna try to charge as little as possible, as little as we can afford to charge. Most of this money is going to go in uh, uh, marketing, in, in keeping basically the, the company afloat, but the company is going to cost as little as possible. Again, the idea is not to grow a company, the idea is to grow a platform. So we need money to do advertisement, marketing. We can't escape from that. Mm. But the biggest uh, advantage of uh, charging less for the players who use the platform is that it's actually a way to save money so if you get a small part of your bookings from trips you're actually saving money on commissions instead of getting in getting them through um, the ota you get them through trips you, you actually save money it's like direct bookings direct bookings have a cost it's very variable but they have a cost if it's lower then the commissions pay to the OTAs, then you, you actually made more money. On the other end, when you, you we charge less commissions, so you will be able either to get more money, so increase your margins, or to give a cheaper price to the, uh, the guests, or something in the middle, right? Well, that was the idea, basically. Let's charge as little as we can while having a, a successful platform. And we're going to get there one way or the other. We don't know when. We don't know what's the, the exact commission. Um, I take it to the extreme. It, it may, I hope not, but we could get to a point where we have to charge as much as Airbnb or as much as, as, as Booking.com. It's still worth it. And you're going to get later there it's worth it because you keep control of your reviews, of your listings, of your customers. So for the same price, you get a better deal. So even if you charge as much as them, and again, I hope we don't, um, then you are going to get a better deal. So imagine if you get a better deal by paying less. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, or share. You can comment on the white paper here in YouTube, LinkedIn, or directly in the white paper in Google Docs. Thank you for watching.